Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome back to this uh, video tutorial. We are going to continue looking at the um, 2015 March edition of the Paper 3.1 and um, in the last video we ended on step number 3 where we created the, vid um, the table and um, in this um, video we are going to continue step number 4 where we are going to insert some images and play around also with some of the properties of um, these images. Okay, so let's go ahead um, and do that. So step four, place the image m15 title um, dot um, jpg in cell A. Okay, so let's go here and cell A. We're going to place the image title. So go to um, your work area and select the title image, that one. Um, next, uh, place the image m1531 large in cell D. So cell D. Um, is this one okay so we're going to place that image in here so insert and then large and place it in there uh, next um, place the image in step 5 place the image m1531 info dot png in cell m and cell m is just the last cell down there okay so scroll down and insert um, info and that's the cell there um, Next, in cell L, enter the text recently edited by, followed by your name, um, center number, and, and candidate number, and set this um, to be style H2. Okay, so recently edited by, and then your name, center number, and candidate number. So let's go ahead. Recently edited, but you're supposed to type this text as it is. So um, no capital for E. So supposed to be edited by, and then Casa Evans and then ZM556 and 001. Okay. And we need to set this to star H2. Okay. So set it to star H2. Perfect. Next, um, step 7. In cell 1C, enter the text rhinoceros. Um, Let's go ahead and enter that. So cell C is this one. This is cell C. So we enter uh, rhinoceros. Okay. Okay, rhinoceros. And then, um, then in cell F, enter the text Lima. Okay. Um, Lima and then in cell H enter the text Ata Boom. Mm -hmm. okay and in cell um, K enter the text lizard okay good so we are told that we need to set um, the text as style H1. So just select all these um, four at once and set them as H1. Perfect. Next, step eight. Using the most appropriate image from M1531 image one to JPG to um, M1531 image eight dot JPG place in cell. And then in cell B, you place the image of a rhinoceros. So this one is um, fairly straightforward. Just put there your cursor and insert and look for image of a rhinoceros. This one here. Okay, so then we look out for Lima. And I must say, I, don't, I didn't know at first uh, this creature called Lima. <laughs> So I had to look it up on the internet and um, yeah, so what I want to do is this is the part we were, where we were asked that we could use the encyclopedia or the internet. Remember step 8 or step 32. Okay, so here we're going to use um, we are going to use the um, the internet. So let's go to the internet and um, let's type um, Lima. I'll do Lima images. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So that is um, the creature there. <laughs> it's got eyes which looks like buttons. Huh? <laughs> 
like button, buttons for a no overcoat. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, um, look out for that one. So let's um, look, uh, zoom in. Um, it can't be that one. It must be this one. Okay, so just insert it. Yeah, there you go. And um, um, the next one is um, image of an otter. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change to otter images. Uh, is that the way I spelled it? <laughs> it's supposed to be ER. Okay, it's supposed to be ER. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So it looks like this. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's look out for that. Um, let's find if we can see anything that looks more like that. Zoom in. And definitely this one. Yeah. Um, next, um, image of a lizard. This should be very straightforward. Um, just place your cursor there and insert and zoom in. Um, there you go with the lizard and insert it. Um, step nine, make sure each of the images placed in step eight is 96, 196 pixels wide and maintains its aspect ratio. So what you can do is that you can check the property for all the images. So check the image here, picture property, and you'll see that it's 196, um, the width, and um, check the property for this one also. It's 196 by 196, that's fine. And check the first one also, and note that it is also 196, 196. So the only one which is different this one. So make it um, 196, but make sure that the aspect ratio is maintained. Okay. So make it 196, and the aspect ratio is maintained. So it doesn't matter whether you change this one or this one, um, because it is a square uh, image. So uh, the height and the uh, width change in proportion. So that should be fine. So there you go, and that looks perfectly fine. And um, we're going to go to step number eight, number 10, rather, set um, an attribute um, for each image to display an appropriate uh, text if the image is not available. So we're going to do that. So all the images, so start with the title, uh, go to picture property and go to general and say um, image of the logo, maybe, or let's say company logo. Yeah. Um, slash title if you want okay then say okay and then this is um, general and then this is image just put that this is image of rhinoceros okay um, let's go to this one I don't know what this one will call it <laughs> okay um, um, Okay, since there is a giraffe, we can put some giraffe there. Um, let's just say image of a giraffe. Giraffe. I don't know if it's double F. Um, um, then lizard. So just say image of a lizard. And um, this one is image of an otter. image of an otter okay and this one is image of a lima okay image of a lima I don't know lima is supposed to be you um, I hope it's supposed to be you <laughs> uh, let me check yeah it's supposed to be you all right so I think we're done with all the images except this one Let's check. Um, this one's supposed to be image of company info. Okay. And we've done putting the alternative text for all the images. Um, so make the image M1531 large.jpg a hyperlink to open um, the web page. And this is the web page. So I'm going to do that. And so I'm going to get this and uh, make this image. Um, to open um, in a hyperlink uh, let me just find out um, um, to this website so I'm going just to copy this okay just so I don't waste enough time just copy it and um, 
I'll paste it here okay and I'll set the target um, the target is supposed to be opening a new window and a new window is supposed to be called um, webmaster so I don't know if it's capital um, yeah it's just small letter webmaster okay so that should be done for this one um, just verify that um, the you've got the name and it's set to existing file or web page okay and the address is shown here and then the target frame is supposed to be here and that should be fine next is save your web page okay so go ahead and just save your web page so at this stage I'm going to stop um, recording this video from here and um, I'm going to continue um, the video in uh, or the tutorial in the next video uh, with step number 12 where we're going to edit the style sheet okay so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you just in a short while when we edit the style sheet